Modern vehicles have multiple safety features that can assist the driver in various situations. Things like ABS or cruise control really help in keeping you safe and the driving experience flawless. But there's one function in particular that deserves in-depth coverage, and that's the limp mode. Limp mode is a safety feature in vehicles designed to protect the engine and transmission from serious damage when a fall is detected. When a vehicle enters limp mode, the engine's power is reduced and the transmission may be limited to a single gear, usually second or third. This allows the driver to limp to a safe location or to a mechanic without causing further damage. Now let's discuss the common causes of limp mode. One, we're low fluid levels. Fluids like engine oil, coolant, and transmission fluid are essential for lubrication and temperature regulation. Low levels can lead to overheating, increased friction, and eventual failure of engine or transmission components. Limp mode is activated to prevent the engine from running under these risky conditions. Two, transmission issues. Problems like slipping gears, overheating, or low transmission fluid levels can cause the transmission to malfunction, leading to significant damage. Limp mode is triggered to limit the vehicle's power and speed, preventing further damage to the transmission. Three, sensor failures. Modern vehicles rely heavily on sensors to monitor various parameters. An issue with the sensor such as MAF sensor, oxygen sensor, or a throttle position sensor may activate the limp mode. Four, fuel system problems. If there is a fuel delivery issue, like a clogged fuel filter or a failing fuel pump, the engine might not receive the proper fuel air mixture, leading to limp mode. Five, throttle body problems. The throttle body controls the amount of air entering the engine. If it becomes dirty, stuck, or malfunctions, it can affect the air fuel mixture, leading to poor engine performance. In such conditions, your vehicle's main computer triggers the limp mode. Six, broken wires. All the electrical lines in the car are connected to the engine. The engine supplies the power to every part that needs to operate. The electrical system is a critical component of the vehicle, but is also very delicate. Broken cables might interfere with the car's other systems and trigger the limp mode. Now let's discuss how can detect that your car's limp mode is activated. One, reduced engine power. The reduced engine power is one of the most common symptoms of the limp mode. The engine power is significantly reduced as your car feels sluggish and unresponsive. Two, limited speed and RPM. The vehicle may be restricted to a low speed, typically around 30 to 45 miles per hour, and the engine RPM may be capped, often not exceeding 2,500 to 3,000 RPM. Three, transmission stuck in one gear. The transmission may be locked in a single gear to prevent further strain. This prevents downshifting or upshifting, making it difficult to accelerate or decelerate normally. Four, check engine light. In case of limp mode, your car's main computer activates the check engine light or other warning lights on the dashboard. This is the engine control unit's way of signaling that a problem has been detected. Five, increase fuel consumption. Due to the engine running inefficiently, you might notice a sudden increase in fuel consumption. Now let's discuss how you can bypass or fix the limp mode. Just like with a computer, sometimes a quick restart is all it takes to reset your car's system. Turn off the engine, wait for a minute, then start it up again. If the issue was minor, this might do the trick. Check the motor oil, the coolant, the transmission, the brake level fluid, and the power steering fluid. Make sure that all these fluids are at optimum levels and don't have any debris collected into them. If you're comfortable under the hood, check for any loose connections or damaged sensors. Replace the faulty sensors. If all else fails, it's time to visit your mechanic. They'll have the tools and expertise to diagnose and fix the underlying issue causing limp mode. And there you have it, folks. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you have any limp mode horror stories or tips of your own, drop them in the comments below.